afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Man, check out this uh, good-looking 2006 Raptor we traded for the other day. You talk about a very, very nice, clean Raptor with a generator for under 20 grand. Probably one of the nicest toy haulers in this price range in the country as far as overall condition, equipment, and more. I mean, this is the king of the toy haulers, guys. One of the first ones to come out with the toy hauler fifth wheel. And uh, wasn't for the Raptor, we wouldn't have the toy hauler fifth wheels crossovers we're used to today. Again, this is a 2006 Keystone Raptor 3612. Two slides, 37 feet long. Dry weight of 11,160 pounds. 3,550 pound cargo carrying capacity in excellent, excellent, excellent condition. I mean, to be a 16-year-old, 17-year-old fifth wheel, they don't come any nicer than this, guys. And am I, am I saying it's perfect? No. 17 years old. But I promise you guys, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a 17-year-old fifth wheel nicer condition than this. Triple axle, 10-gallon water heater. Does have an 11 by 8-foot garage bay in the back that's separate from the living quarters. So you don't have to worry about if you do use it for a toy hauler, which most people don't. That's why they call them crossovers now instead of toy haulers. And I don't think this one's been used as a toy hauler either. Then, um, you know, you can, uh, you don't have to worry about smelling any kind of gas fumes, anything like that, if you're hauling a motorcycle, four wheelers, anything like that with a gas motor. Trip axle, awning. I don't know, kind of got it pushed up against the fence, but the everything looks great back here all the lights are on got a 5500 on and gasoline generator with 130 hours on it it does run and guys what i'm gonna do is something different i'm asking 199 for this unit with a generator in it if you do not want the generator don't have a need for it i will take it out and give you and, and sell it to you for eighteen thousand dollars so I'll give you two thousand dollars back and take the generator out for you so uh your choice if you need the generator, you want it, you can buy it for $19.9. Or if you want it without the generator, we'll take it out and, uh, for eight to, and sell it to you for eighteen grand. So buyer's choice. We try to give you options, guys, because, you know, a lot of people buy these things. They want the generator. Sometimes they buy them. They're going to just use them in campgrounds. They don't need the generator. So it's entirely for what you're going to do with it. Two slides. 50 amp electrical service. It does have two rooftop ACs. Got the big furnace. It is insulated for year round use. Both slide outs on the same side. It does have a 30 gallon fuel tank with a fueling station as well. Stripes. Again, guys, to be in 06, I'm not going to say they're perfect, but they're, the stripes probably better than 99% of the other 2006s out there on the market today. I mean, you can tell this thing's not being exposed to extreme use or extreme sunlight or anything like that and it's not been a living unit that i can tell but it would make a great you know these have gotten really popular with full timers now because you see with a toy haul or a crossover you're not stuck with one floor plan you have an 11 by 8 foot garage bay in the back you can make it your own and what's nice about it with full timers is you can carry more of your stuff with you and have it separate from your living quarters. So basically like having your own storage building with you all the time. And guys, he put the wrong weight on there. It is 11,160 pounds dry weight based on the sticker inside the RV. Uh, he, he went by the sticker on the NA, he went by the weight posted on the NADA website, which is not always accurate. So don't ever go by that always. Nothing beats looking in the unit itself to get the dry weight. Let's look inside. Inside, there's actually no smoke or pad odors. And everything in here, as far as like the furniture, looks original. You know, this is before they put the uh, pleather furniture in it. They had the flaking furniture issue. Like so many of the later Keystones had. Skylight overhead, you do have a ceiling fan. Um, I'm just running off my little generator because there wasn't really much gas left in the tank. I didn't want to run the big generator, but we did run it earlier and we do guarantee it to work. 
And as inside, you can see you do have a queen size loft bed up top here that you can use for sleeping or storage. You've got an eight cubic foot RV refrigerator freezer that runs off of propane or electric. Countertops look good. Three burner stove top oven. Hardwood cabinets. I mean, back in the day, this was pretty much the top of the line in toy hauler crossover that you could buy was a Keystone Raptor. And still one of the top ones today. Solid sliding door for privacy going into the front bedroom area. You got a clean island bed. Outside sink. There's your second AC. It's not ducted, but the main unit is. Big closet across the front. Got a dip down because this is more of a mid-profile back then, so this is something that you could tow a little easier with uh, four-wheel trucks without having to have a six-wheel dually. Even though technically the rule of thumb is if it's got three axles, you need six wheels to tow it. That's kind of been the old driver's saying for, you know, when I was an RV transporter, that was kind of the saying for many, many years. Of course, I always towed with a dually truck. Always better to have too much and not enough. But this is kind of the rare exception to that rule. You know, 11,000, under 11,200 pounds with a properly equipped four-wheel diesel truck, you know, three-quarter ton, one ton, four-wheel truck with the right weight capacity, you should be okay. Would not tow it with a half ton, of course. There's no way, but uh, because, you know, it's 11,160 pounds like it sits right now before you add anything to it. It's got 112 gallon water capacity fresh water capacity so you start adding the weight of the water if you carry it full of water a lot of people do a lot of people don't depends on if you're going campground camping or boondock camping you figure the weight of cargo in the back clothing luggage food water things like our, our luggage and personal items up here it all adds up and um hang on one second i gotta talk to one of my sales people Sorry about that, guys. I'm covering as sales manager today, so I had to uh, help them out with a trade-in. Makes it kind of hard to do videos sometimes because <laughs> we're busy, busy, busy right now. Believe it or not, because again, everybody's, because of the economy and everything, everybody's real conscious about pricing. And when they see our, we got the lowest prices on the internet, they come here to buy, and that means trade-ins and stuff like that that I have to help appraise, so. But um, but anyway, let's see here. You can sleep two up front. You've got a sleeper sofa and a table booth that makes a bed. So that's, and then your queen bed up here. So that there is uh, eight total. It's just that unit does have a satellite, um, a satellite on the roof, a satellite system, which always I recommend just consider those obsolete uh, because if that's from 2006, obviously it's, it's uh, out of date and the probably won't, hook up to any modern satellite system but if it does just consider it a bonus uh man look at that massive tv boy you could <laughs> uh the previous owners went all out on the entertainment system didn't they <laughs> i mean wow <laughs> that's uh that's smaller than uh, most computer monitors <laughs> but hey it's got one so yeah, that's something you can always add or upgrade later if you want to, I mean, TV's cheapest thing you can buy for an RV. And this is why I was saying they didn't hardly use this thing for a toy hauler. I mean, look at the floor in here. It's a little dirty, but there's no mud tracks, no oil stains, gas stains, no odors in here. This was used more for storage or, you know, a lot of people make mobile workshops out here in these things. They make hobby rooms. You know, what's really popular with full-timers right now, especially those that still have to work and live in an RV, is they have to do work at home, have to have a dedicated personal office space. That's a requirement for a lot of these companies. Like if you process insurance claims and things like that, you've got to have a separate, completely enclosed office. Well, by gosh, here's your 11 by eight separate enclosed office. On a pretty day, you can let this ramp door down. You've got a screen that comes down, let some fresh air in here. Uh, everything's good and solid. Got some extra storage up here. A vent fan, outside entry door. 
And uh, you can see the diamond plating around the walls. Everything looks good. Rubber floor looks good. It's 11 by 8, so you can put a lot of stuff in here. And then, like I was saying earlier, if you're full timing, you know, especially if you're going from a house to a fifth wheel, this is going to allow you to carry a lot more stuff with you because, you know, a lot of people can't really get rid of all their stuff. And this is going to allow them to uh, carry more of their stuff with you without having to rent a storage building, which is not cheap right now. And plus, nothing's more aggravating when you're traveling in your fifth wheel after you sold your house and you need something out of your storage building and you're a thousand miles away from it. What do you do? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's a long way to drive for a, a, a kitchen utensil or a, let's just say you have a cold spell come up and you, you haven't got your winter clothes and, you know, something like that. So you either pay somebody to go over there and ship it to you or you uh, go buy a new one or uh, drive all the way back to get it. And either one's not really feasible. Well, this way you can carry your stuff with you. That's why so many people or um, why these are so popular. Another thing you can do with that 11 by 8, you can make that into another bedroom. A man cave, a she shed. If you've got kids, you can make a, a bedroom back there for them. Or a playroom. I mean, there's just so many different things you can do. With that 11 by 8 space, it's a blank slate. I mean, let your imagination. Uh, I've seen artists make mobile art studios in the back of one of these things. Um, I sold one of these one time to a competition. Um, I sold a toy hauler one time to a competition barbecue chef who made a mobile smokehouse, which I don't know how that worked, with, but I guess he had to put the ramp door down but um, and put the smoker toward the back. He'd have to have a heck of a ventilation system keeping from smoking up the camper, but hey, he made it work. I mean, leather, I saw one to a guy one time that did custom leather works and he went to uh, rodeos and uh, festivals and things like that. Made a living out of his toy hauler, lived in the front and made leather stuff in the back like wallets and belts and everything else that he made. Um, everything in his toy hauler, that was his work area and this was his living area. So the sky's the limit with one of these versus a standard fifth wheel where you buy a rear lounge, it's always going to be a rear lounge. Or you buy a rear kitchen or a front lounge where you're stuck with one floor playing. This is the Swiss Army knives of campers or fifth wheels. I mean, it can be a variety of floor plans and you can mix them up. You don't have to have be one fixed floor plan. You can make that a bedroom. You can take that stuff out, make it a, a, a storage area, a toy hauler, um, You've got a generator if you decide to buy it with a generator. So if you want a boondock camp, you've got full hookups. You've got 112 gallon water capacity uh, for extended boondocking. Um, fire that generator up, run your ACs, have the comforts of being hooked up at a campground and being somewhere out in the wilderness away from everybody. So there's different ways of looking at it, guys. And this unit is uh, just 19.9 with a generator, 18 grand or 18 grand without. Both those prices are haggle-free firm, 18 grand without the generator, and we'll take it out for you, too. Um, we um, include our major systems inspection, which include, of course, we make sure slide-outs work, which they do. We wouldn't have them out. But we make sure that they seal good, make sure there's no damage in them, on them, um, and all that. So we go just above and beyond, just pushing a button. Hey, it goes in, it goes out, it's fine. Um, we, we check it, make sure it seals good and make sure there's no damage on it. We, uh, we make sure the refrigerator freezer works on all both modes of operation, gas and electric and gets to operating temp on both modes. Uh, we check both your roof airs and make sure they get to operating temperature. We check your plumbing system, which is winterized right now, but we'll check it and we'll de-winterize it, check it, check for plumbing leaks, make sure your hot water heater works which water heater, not hot water heater, water heater. I mean, it's the only way that the only thing that makes a, a but, well, I mean, obviously it's a water heater, so it's going to be hot. But uh, I never understood that. Not a cold water heater; it's a it's a water heater. But we'll make sure your water heater works and uh, gets hot water everywhere it's supposed to, without leaks. And uh, we're going to make sure that your water pump works. Got the right, right water pressure. Um, check your toilets, faucets, spigots, all that good stuff. Make sure all that's right. Uh, we're going to make sure that. Steps work, front landing legs work, and um, and that's that's your major systems, guys.
stuff that can ruin your trip if they didn't work and we leave the little stuff to you now all the lights so far that i've turned on works um of course i'm just running off a generator so i can't run the ac but we guarantee that anyway now if you buy it with a generator of course we guarantee the generator to work and put out the proper elect uh proper amperage electricity and all that stuff too we check all that and run it for several hours so you don't have to worry about that either and everything that we guarantee to work is listed in detail in the video description below if you're on youtube it's listed on the website if you're on the website watching this video it's listed in the ad description below on the website um, and you can call the one of our salespeople at 706-965-7929 they can either verbally tell you everything over the phone uh, what we cover and uh, or they can send you over a list which is basically a contract that we sign that you sign at the beginning of the deal so that we have it in writing what we expect buyer and seller what we expect from each other and what the response what so everybody knows their responsibilities uh you know exactly in writing to the detailed what we inspect on this rv and fix if needed for the price you pay and we uh you also understand that uh, you're buying it as is uh, as far as the other systems if it works it works it doesn't it doesn't and you also understand that we give you the opportunity to come down and look at it in person uh, which I I recommend that guys. I, I don't understand why you would buy anything used or new in an RV without looking at it in person. And I have a lot of logic for that. And the logic is, you know, videos help. Yeah, they help a lot. Um, believe me, I bought RVs that I wish the people had done videos on in the blind before. And it's usually paid off. Sometimes it hasn't, but that's just a risk you take. And it, like anything else in life, buying sight unseen. But I do recommend coming and looking at it in person because especially if you haven't been in a lot of rvs because you know i can tell you i can quote exact measurements all day long i can tell you this 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 wide this tall this long this bed is this size this sofa is this size but that unless you are unless you know been in rvs a lot that's not really going to mean that much to you from perspective view um until you actually walk in the unit yourself and sit down on the couch, see how well it fits you, how comfortable it is, sit at the table booth, lay down in the beds, you know, sit down on the toilet with your pants on preferably. <laughs> uh, stand up in the shower, walk around, picture yourself using this camper, your stuff in it, have you know, your family or whoever's going with you, picture them in here, and just get a perspective, a first first-hand perspective i guess on the actual size of it because like i said pictures and video help but looking at it on a phone screen or computer screen tv screen is not going to give you an actual size perspective like in person will and then of course while you're here you can look at the condition of it make sure it meets your personal standards to be nice enough for you for you, for you to buy and use or you and your family or you and whoever is going with you if anybody at all is going with you to meet those standards because everybody has different standards guys i consider this probably one of the nicest 2006 toy haulers on the market especially for under 20 grand that's my personal standards and i look at thousands of these things in the 25 years i've been in this industry so but that, again that's an opinion that's the thing about opinions nobody's right nobody's wrong and everybody's got a different one um about everything so that's why they call them opinions not facts there is no standard grading scale for a 2006 raptor for 19.9 i mean if i was gonna if i was gonna put a one to ten ten being absolutely light new which there's no such thing as light new so i never give anything a 10 out of 10 uh i would give this honestly a nine plus maybe even nine and a half out of ten that's how strong i feel about it to be because this thing's honestly is nicer nicer than toy haulers i've seen that are 10 years newer and double the price or triple the price it's just as nice it may be older may not have all the high-tech features you may not have a wi-fi extender and and hot spot built in and all that stuff and the computers you know you don't have the touch screen control panel and all that but that's stuff that you can add if you need it but look at the money you're saving i mean i'm looking at i mean i did a travel trailer yesterday 
a nice travel trailer. It was a 22 model, but it was a 21 foot travel trailer with a slide for 22.9. And I'm saying that travel trailer can fit in the living room and kitchen area of this thing. And this is $3,000 less with a generator. And I'm comparing apples to oranges here, I know, but I'm thinking put the two beside each other and, and then tell the average RV consumer, hey, guess what? You can buy this big thing right here for $3,000 less than this one. And I'm thinking, bang for the buck, yeah, I'm going to go with a Raptor. But that's just me. Now, somebody that doesn't have the ability to tow something this big or doesn't want anything that big, yeah, they're going to go for the smaller one. It's all based on the individual customer's wants and needs. But that's the way I look at it, bang for the buck. Man, you know, you want, especially if you're going to be living in it, you want as much room as possible. And yes, guys, we can help you arrange delivery of this thing. Uh, we do offer local, semi-local here at the dealership. We don't do setups. We don't do on-site ed uh, educations. But if you need all that, I can put you in touch with my good friends over at Nuga Transport. Um, they do full service delivery. Guys, I cannot wreck. I've had a couple of customers use them. They love them to death. These guys can do full setups. They can help level your site. They can help prep your site. These guys do some amazing work. Um, they don't just unhook it and go. They can give you full on-site education. They can level it up, do a complete setup. I mean, these guys can do above and beyond any RV delivery service I have ever seen. They've got, uh, I was talking to the owner the other day, they've got a million dollar cargo uh, insurance, so your stuff's protected. Uh, I mean, they've, they've got drivers, CDL drivers, I mean, experienced drivers, not just hiring somebody off the street with a regular driver's license. They're licensed, insured, bonded. I mean, these guys are the real deal. And uh, I can put you in touch with them to get a quote if you've got a long-distance delivery or you need full-service delivery. I know a lot of people are looking at this to live in. You don't have a truck to tow it. These guys can take care of you guys, and I'll give you their phone number, their website. You can, get a, you can do a quote with them online, or you can call them. And they will, uh, they'll take care of you. Highly, highly recommend them. Two thumbs up. Glad I got in touch with them.